Hello again and welcome to my talk for the day. It's uh, just becoming a bright sunny day here in Fredericton and I hope it is similar where you are if you enjoy the sun. Long long ago and in a universe far far away, well in fact December 2019 at the Cathedral Holy Joe's Christmas dinner Debbie was given a beautiful potted cyclamen. It bloomed for several months, but in the last few weeks the leaves have begun to droop and turn yellow. To all intents and purposes, it appears to be dying. From all the reading I've done on caring for your cyclamen, I've come to realise that they're quite finicky at times, and somewhat unusual in that they bloom and leaf in winter and die back in the summer. The plant we now have has entered its period of dormancy. In order to see it again in the fall with its full blossoms, we will need to take special care of it, and every two years it will need repotting. I hope that we'll see signs of revival in September. The cyclamen is something of a metaphor for the church at the moment. If people were to look at most of our buildings on a Sunday morning, they might think that we've gone away. Yet that is far from the truth. There are things happening just as there are within the corn of the cyclamen. It's just that they are not obvious. As we go this through this period where we are not in full blossom, just as with my plant, we need to take care to look after the precious bulb carefully, ready for its next growing season. For each of us as individuals, that means taking care of all aspects of our life, spiritual and physical. Actually, they can't be separated. And discovering how we will continue to grow as disciples of Jesus, getting ready for the new flowering. What I know also know about the cyclamen is that although it will look very similar to this year's plant when it flowers, it will not be identical. This too, as I have said many times before in these talks, is true for the church as well. We have discovered new ways of doing things during recent weeks, and we've also discovered that things and ways of doing them that we thought were essential are not. The question for me, for us, is do I, we, have the faith and the courage to allow the new to grow alongside the familiar? I'm responsible for ensuring to the best of my ability that our cyclamen blooms again. All of us who follow Jesus are responsible under God for the church doing the same. So thank you again for being here and I do hope that you have a good day. There will be a litany tonight at 6 p.m. as usual and also across the diocese uh, tomorrow different services will be happening and there's a list of many of them on the diocesan website and I'm sure that you also know what's happening in your particular parish uh, in addition, of course, there is going to be a morning prayer service uh, from the cathedral. So, I trust that you will be blessed by God this weekend and that you'll stay safe. <laughs>